Hi, this is DocFox127, and welcome back to another Skyrim Creation Kit tutorial video. In today's video, I'm going to be covering something relatively simple, but something that makes a big difference, which is called emittance. So this is essentially making sure that uh, things like buildings with windows uh, have the windows sort of glow at night and they, they die down in the daytime. Uh, it also controls things like lights, where uh, you may have a candle light that you do not want to have it uh, kind of on all of the time or it looks a little bit weird that you've got these bright orange spots of light all over the place during the day uh, so you may find that you want to dye the night the light uh, down during the day and then at night time you want it to brighten up uh, and really give you give you that light when it's dark uh, so what I'll do is I will cover sort of buildings first so what I mean by this hopefully this works if I have sky turned on at the top there uh, and then I change my time of day. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Looks like we've got lucky. But you'll see that when you change the time of day slider, it kind of brightens up these uh, these windows uh, during the evening. You'll see that they've gone a, a sort of orange. And then when you change it, the windows completely dull down to the point that there's no light coming from them. So it gives the illusion that the, the candles in there are all, all lit and it sort of shines through the windows, um, and that during the day, those candles are off. In reality, in the game, they don't blow out candles, they don't turn off lights. Uh, there are mods that do that sort of things with things like embers, um, but that's a whole different uh, ballpark. But to at least give that, that nice sort of illusion on buildings that you may be putting in the game in your mods, all you need to do, if you double-click on the building... And you go under emittance and a lot of different objects may support this and it'll have different sorts of effects. Uh, but you'll see that you've got interior light and you have exterior light. The one that we want to focus on here and that I'll probably be using for most of this is exterior light. Uh, I'm not 100% sure where it's pulling all of this data from and I feel like this is uh, very much tied with regions and weather systems so i'm not 100 percent sure how you could make your own but there are a couple of standard ones that i tend to use that i've noticed that i use throughout the game uh, so the one here and this is the best way of doing it if you're putting a new building in a in an area in a region just grab the surrounding buildings emittance and use the same one they'll also they'll all sort of use roughly the same one so if you can hear a pinging my mouse keeps flicking off my my thumb keeps hitting the button. Um, FX light region, invert, window, white run is what this one is. So the invert gives you a hint of what it's doing. It's it's doing sort of opposite to, to daylight uh, kind of thing. Um, and when you, you do this, it, like I say, sometimes it's a pain in the backside and it doesn't work. But if you just put it to nighttime and then you can sort of select different ones, you can see in this instance that as you select different ones, it is actually changing how it looks. And that's really all you've got to do. You've just got to find one that you like, one that does what you need and keep using the slider or just use one from the surrounding area. And you'll see there's one for Solitude, there's one for Windhelm, Windhelm 2, uh, for brightening all those buildings lights up. And you just use one of those. So um, the other use that these have, as I loosely mentioned, was for light sources. So if I just duplicate the forge light here as an example, you may have a sconce here or something. Uh, we might want to brighten this thing up, actually. This seems a bit weak. I've found how weak and sort of desaturated lights in Skyrim are. It's crazy. Um, but if you have this light here and then you go into the daytime, you'll notice that the light is still shining really bright. And during the day, that doesn't look good. It just makes a big bright patch on the, um, on the walkway here. And it just looks ridiculous. Uh, although technically there would be light coming from it, because you can't sort of turn the light off without doing some really fun stuff with scripting, um, you're not really going to want this. So you want to just die that down. And the way that you do it is, again, with emittance. So this is going to use the same sort of thing. And the one that I've found that is used in some areas of Skyrim, uh, let me see if I can find it. I always forget the, the name of this thing. Um, but it is essentially one that does the opposite to sunlight. Um, so what you've got here is FX light region, invert day, night. And you'll see what happens as soon as I selected that, it disappeared. But if I click OK and I go into nighttime, it's doing the same sort of thing that the windows do. But it should be mostly keeping the lights 
sort of visuals, color and whatnot. And you'll see it just changes. So it's really, really handy for lights as well. Uh, if we go to an interior, something that a lot of people miss with their mods here, uh, which is really, really interesting, is windows. Now, Skyrim doesn't pay an awful lot of attention. Bethesda, I should say, didn't pay an awful lot of attention to windows themselves. They're extremely limited with this engine in what they can do with lights. If you've ever downloaded a lighting mod, you'll find it's a real pain in the backside. Um, where it starts having lights flickering. I've got different videos on that. I may have a future video coming to help alleviate that for those of you with player homes, intractable player homes. Um, but essentially, they couldn't just go and put lights everywhere they wanted, and they couldn't especially just put lights for windows everywhere that they wanted them because it just caused havoc. However, there are areas in the game that you can... Um, and we'll see uh, sort of window lighting used where you've got like a really big centerpiece window and you want a really good bright sort of sunlight coming through. Uh, you can do that sort of thing. Now, I can't think which interior in the game does this. Um, I don't think any of these do. Uh, but there is a emittance option for sort of sunlight itself. So rather than doing opposite to sunlight, if you want to give the effect of the sun coming through the window... Um, and you, you know, you want it to brighten up the room, you want it to darken afterwards, you can use this. So you've got FX light region sunlight, and you've also got a white option, which is just a, a lot more white than it is sort of, you know, orangey sun colored. So you'll see there's a bit of a difference with these. So I'm just going to flat out change this light. I'm just going to move it over here. I don't care. Uh, and I'm just going to change it out. So what you do is you would have a light source that's closer to like being the sun. Uh, so if we do, oh no, not sun mark art, that wouldn't work. But if we search for under light sun, maybe I shouldn't use that light actually. Let's, let's just delete it and get it out of our face. So if I look for a good light for sun, um, default sunlight, that will work. Uh, one thing you can do, you can use spotlights, angle them and bring them in. And then have them shine through. Just depending on what the mesh is, it might just block it from the other side. But if it's a one-sided mesh, which this isn't, that would be quite nice. Or you can just go with like a, a no shadow light, which is what a lot of interiors use. And what you would have, you'd have a light that sort of gives the illusion of the, the sun coming through the windows. Double click on it, go to emittance, FX light region, and then you would do sunlight. And what this will do is something quite neat. If I just tap M to turn the lights off, well, the markers... Uh, and then you go into nighttime. What you should get, and it's a lot better in game, especially when you've got your EMBs on and your, your light improvement mods. But what you will see is the light doesn't completely die down like those other light sources. It will actually have a bit of a moonlight sort of bluish tint to it. Uh, like I say, you can't really see it very well here, partially because the light is just not very bright so let's let's brighten that up i like to brighten my lights there we go you can see that bluish tint now uh, which is really really neat and then if you bring it back into the day it's more of just a really bright blinding sunlight and you can play around with that which is really really cool and then the other side of this is dust effects so you'll notice that a lot of interiors like to deal with dust effects just to give um that effect that it's, it's really, you know, dusty in, in the room, just as in real life, if, if you get a lot of sunlight coming through, you'll see all the dust floating around in, in the air. Uh, you can do that here. So hang on, my preview window likes to run off to my main monitor. It's also why I'm looking up all the time, because um, I don't want to record this on an ultra wide or you won't see anything. Uh, but you'll see you've got these dust effects. So uh, let's use one of these. Usually put these in, angle these in, something like that. There are mods to make these not suck because these absolutely suck. They look ludicrous. Um, but anyway, and what you can do, you can also do emittance on these. And I tend to set exactly what I set on my light source. So if I go onto here and I go emittance and I do FX region sunlight or even white, which is a bit brighter. What this will do is a very similar thing and it will do sort of a... A bit of a glow on it, a bit of a bit of a colour change on it, which again, much better to see in game. But all that combined together gives you some really nice effects. It makes everything sort of match up with the region, uh, with the actual sun. 
uh, rather than lights just being blinding it on all the time and it lets you do some really nice sort of window effects. You can also add these to special effects which is something that uh, a lot of people probably don't know. Um, I just can't think of what effect I would want to use. I'm pretty sure there's like an Azura effect or something along those lines that you could use. Um, if I can't find it, I'll just sort of explain it. Um, but there are glows, actually. I think I think glows might work. There's these weird glow mesh thingies. Here we go. Lovely job, play. Right, so glows. These are a really good way of faking... There are small, smaller ones than this, but these are a really good way of faking sort of light coming from candle lights a little bit more, giving candle lights a bit of a glow just to give some effects in player homes and stuff. Uh, but this emittance option here, you can do the same thing here, but this time you can use interior light and you can actually change the way that these visibly sort of look and the light that they give off. You'll see as I go down here, it's changing. I can even make it look a completely different color rather than you diving into the NIF and messing too much with that. You can sort of get away with stuff here sometimes. You may keep a bit of the original color around, uh, so editing the NIF can be better, but using interior light options here for emittance can actually give you some really cool effects just to easily tweak the colors of these special effects as well. Uh, there may also be other things in the game that you can uh, you can use emittance on. Uh, I probably haven't found them all. Uh, they have quite a lot of it has quite a lot of uses emittance does, um, but I think that mostly covers it for sort of exterior lighting like sconces, uh, windows inside and out, dust effects, and other effects. So uh, that is just about it. And that is just about it for this tutorial video. So I hope you found it useful. Please let me know in the comments section down below. Hit that like and subscribe button if you have not already. And you can, of course, check out the rest of my work over on my website at wwwdarfox 127couk You can also help support me on Patreon if you so wish, as I'm going to be making a lot more videos like this one. Uh, thank you all very much for watching, and I will speak to you all next time.